So today I'm gonna be reviewing Cheap Thrills. Baby, I don't need that love no, no, not, not that one. Before we get started, I do want to point out something about the opening credits to this particular episode. Namely, the fact these chuckle fucks managed to spell the word storyboard wrong. And they don't make this mistake in any other episode I've seen thus far. Doesn't that seem, I don't know, weird to you guys? Anyway, Buttercup has a fancy-ass frisbee to play frisbee with, and she immediately throws it in the bushes. Which kind of kickstarts the plot, but I, I kind of want to note this. It's not really something particularly against the episode or for the episode. It's just more of an interpretation of the events that we're presented with. See, Buttercup ends up throughout the episode being taunted by the idea of getting that frisbee back. You know, it, it just keeps popping up and it keeps going away in some fashion. It, get, it keeps getting taken away from her again. And some would say that that would be Buttercup being punished for something that she didn't really do wrong, which it partially is. But another way to look at it is that Buttercup really only lost the Frisbee because she was going all out while the other two girls were trying to be casual. She wasn't really playing with the other girls. She was kind of forcing her way of playing on to them, much like... It's a little bit similar to what happened with um, with Puffdora's box. So I, I guess that's part of why I noticed this. However, at the same time, with it continuing... In other words, it seems like, yes, the Frisbee getting lost in the first place, that's her fault. The, the series of events that happened in this episode, that is kind of her fault. But, you know, the Frisbee continuing to come up well, that just seems like it's rubbing it in Buttercup's face. But enough about that boring ass shit. Cute animal alert! Blossom tries to figure out what it is and Bubbles wants to keep it. And yes, this is another episode with a filler sitcom plot. You pretty much know exactly what's going to happen throughout the episode. You're not, you're not really watching this for the story, but I am going to point out throughout the episode some of the things that I think they do particularly well. Actually, let me go back to the Frisbee thing real quick. Buttercup explains some rules and Blossom says that none of them are real according to her message boards. Which, swatting and blocking Blossom, those aren't real things? You mean to tell me that you run a message board with outdoor activities, which certainly would have Frisbee games, games you play with a Frisbee, on that message board. And you mean to tell me that Nobody mentions any rules regarding blocking blocking someone else from being able to catch the frisbee or swatting the frisbee down in any of those games? Or is it just assumed that it would be allowed in those games or disallowed in those games? Is it just common sense and the and the only reason you don't understand that is because you don't understand common sense. Now, granted, 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 I will give you some of the other stuff, especially since, especially since what time zone you're in doesn't change whether it's leap year, buttercup, but come on, blocking is definitely a thing that could come up in Frisbee. Ah, Nuz, Bubba snuck the cheapy into the house. Oh, cheapy, you are the living end. No, this is the living end. I'm making magic jokes in this show now. Blah 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 shtick. Hey, Blossom found out what Cheapy is. And yes, I'm gonna call them out for not paying attention to their dialogue. So earlier we get a throwaway line about Blossom using an image search, but now she says that she posted a picture to a forum that she runs. Which, I, I mean, if you did the image search and then looked it up on the forum, as, you know, the order of talking about those things would imply, why the fuck didn't you go to your forum first? I mean, you run the forum. And it is a forum for local flora and fauna. Seems like that would be the first place to go to figure out this information. Well, we do know that they grow really big. So I guess there was a legitimate problem with Bubbles keeping the thing? It takes a bite of a yam when Bubbles gets found out and grows huge, by the way. But I'm pretty sure the only reason it was yams is because yams is a funny word. I mean, I mean, just say it. Yams. 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 
Look at them yams. Anyway, they return where they found Cheapy, and Bubbles has an imagined spot of what could happen. And I gotta say, the animation for this sequence is a huge step down. What, they get a kindergartner to draw this? A gang of dance fighters show up to threaten Cheapy into joining them. Which makes perfect sense, and it's not at all the ramblings of someone who's imagining a weird worst case scenario for the sake of comedy. So Cheapy agrees to steal a painting, but the plan was used to set Cheapy up. Which, why the fuck would you steal the painting and then just frame Cheapy for it? I mean, th the only way that makes sense other than these guys having some sort of like vendetta against Cheapy that we don't already know about is if they're, is if they're, you know, they're about to get caught or the job goes wrong and they decide to use Cheapy as a fall guy. Girl. Chinchillosaurus. Cheapy breaks out of jail because fat and gets chased by a detective that's a crow. Which, it's honestly just racism against crows that you have to point that out, fucking douchebag. Anyway, fugitive reference. Cheapy will go, I didn't do it! And the cop says, I don't care. Okay, not only was that the worst Tommy Lee Jones impersonation I've ever heard, but you do realize part of the reason the original scene works is because Gerard really doesn't have a reason to care. All Gerard is trying to do is bring Kimball in. That's his only job. And I guess you could say that the crow's only job is to bring Cheapy in, but here's the real reason it doesn't work. Cheapy is actually guilty of the crimes that Cheapy is being accused of, according to your story. What the fuck? He seems to forget that Kimball survives jumping off the waterfall as we return to the main story. Surprise, bitches! It's Cheapy's mom. May as well not even bother with the dramatic tension. We already know that it's Cheapy's mom. But... Here's one of the best things they do with this episode. Buttercup actually tries to use her laser eyes on Cheapy's mom, and we see that it doesn't work. Now, of course, it's not like the girls don't have, you know, combat abilities or super strength or other superpowers that they can use. Dumbasses. But it's nice to see that we, we actually are shown some indication as to why this problem isn't being immediately solved with superpowers. Blossom tries to find out what the thing is online, and she doesn't bother looking up an adult Chinchillosaurus first. Okay, you know you're already in the habitat of the Chinchillosaurus, you stupid idiot! You didn't think that maybe that might have been the solution? Sh probably should have been the first place you looked. La la blah chase scene, we in a cave now. The monster is Cheapy's mom! Who could have predicted this outcome? Go, go away, go away. We get a cameo from the professor, who was probably working late and that's why he wasn't at dinner. And then more padding before Cheapy returns to his mom. I think the biggest crime that this episode commits is just being, well, boring. The plot's predictable. A lot of the humor is just, you know, there. It's not particularly good. It's not particularly bad. It's just an episode. I guess in a way, that kind of makes it the worst of the episodes that I've seen thus far. Because I, it's, unlike some of the other episodes that I really, really don't like, I can't, even, I can't even really, you know, enjoy watching this as sort of, you know, masochistically as it were. You know, sort of watching something to hate it all in all this is just an episode i don't really care about 